Don't forget, this is Lube. Today, back again covering the next Supreme drop for the official Week 2. If you want to know what happened to your actual Week 2, the second week of the season, go ahead and check out my previous video. But in this video, I'll be going over the Supreme Nike collab, as well as the other items that are scheduled to drop from the lookbook. And I'll also cover a Supreme Nike leak for the pair of sneakers, which were uh, notably missing from this collection. So in previous seasons, they've sort of expanded the Supreme Nike drop, splitting up the shoes and the apparel, even doing, there may have even been a season where they dropped two different collections. So I like it, um, except for like the quality of the drops hasn't really been on point. But I think, you know, I think they may have found their stride a little bit again here with uh, the with this collection here. So this is on the Supreme News page, if you want to check it out yourself. But just scrolling through, a little lookbook they do. Basically, imagine like walking through New York and like seeing them in like an unreleased Supreme piece. And you're like, wait a minute, it's probably fake. But then, stop. Uh, so this jacket, super dope. I believe I saw the prices. This was, um, I think it was maybe in the low 200s. So two different jackets. There's the Jewel Reversible Ripstop Anorak. So I do like the Anorak style. So here it's going to be either, uh, looks like Velcro and a zipper. So it'll go about a quarter way down. Cool little pocket with a Supreme hit on it. And I really am liking this light blue. I think it contrasts really nicely with that red Supreme hit, as well as the Supreme on the back. And then there it looks like there is like a little bit of a design, like a grid pattern going through the logo on the back. And then the drawstrings in the bottom are always a nice touch. So a really cool piece. One of the best Supreme jackets seen in a while. I was just looking at like other Supreme if I've forgotten anything. It's like it's been a while. Like you got the Supreme Air Forces, like they're okay, like nothing special about them. And then I mean the sub tempo was really good. And I mean that dunk was so long ago, like ten years ago. Uh, the SBs were okay, but that was still some time ago. Like, recently, I mean, I guess we've had, like, the swoosh sweater. This was the last thing I purchased from a Nike drop. Uh, solid piece, I think. But, like, the shoes in general, this is, I really, I really want a pair of Supreme Fly Knits. Um, some like these dunks are just not realistic. <laughs> Jesus Christ, $13,000. Um, so, yeah, I feel like the, the recent collections have not been too great, so I'm... Really happy to see this one coming together nicely. So oh yeah, it is uh, reversible. So this is the you know the the white side, hence the reversible in the title, obviously. Uh, so I like this, keeping it simple with like that the '90s ish retro graphic on the chest. Uh, super dope and a white jacket, super clean, literally. And then we have uh, the Ronald McDonald, but I think it does it pretty tastefully. It's a very USC inspired jacket. Um, and then the black, oh, I cannot go wrong with the black. I like the subtle, it has really subtle logoing um, for uh, the collection. I like it a lot. Um, just keeping it simple with just the back graphic, the front, and then the hood, which the hood, you usually can barely even tell there's a hood graphic. So wouldn't worry about that, but this is obviously super clean. I like each of these pieces. Well, I like this piece in each of these colorways. I definitely prefer the ice looking blue one, um, super clean. Definitely something I'll actually be trying to pick up. Now we have uh, the pants, which are also reversible. Um, you might not want to get the white ones because if you flip them inside out and you know you something goes a little goes a little, goes wrong, you know, uh, you might have a problem. But uh, <laughs> the track pants, you know, popping off. We got the little little sneaky little script logo there, so they're keeping the branding subtle here as well. We're sticking with uh, some classic retro vibes. Like in these pieces and reversible, you know, like you get two for the price of one. So cool track pants to go along with. You can pull off the, the full zoot if you like. But this is my my favorite piece. Uh, I watched at least one video of mine, and you'll know how much I love uh, like polos and short sleeve button ups. So this is the Jewel Stripe soccer jersey, and I think this is really clean soccer jersey. So there's no. Like polo, it's not actually a polo, just a soccer jersey style, obviously. So I'm really liking this design. It's it's flashy, but um, it's not like super flashy. Where it's gonna clash with too many other any, any of the other things you're wearing, and the pattern is simple. It's just stripes, and so it's gonna have give you a nice athletic, but a more dressed up feel. So you can still hopefully get some of that comfort. So in just that simple logo, right hit in the chest. 
Other Sakai jerseys usually have logos all over the place. So this one keeps it nice and simple. I really like the black one and the white one as well as also super clean and can't go wrong with the orange one. But the I prefer the black and the blue a little bit personally, and I'll be going for either one of them for personal that for sure. So hopefully you can see that in a pickup video. And again, super clean crew neck. They usually do keep it pretty simple with the crew necks, and they had like the one with just the small patch here, the stitching, the Supreme Nike uh, logo in the corner was, I believe, a recent crew neck that came out last year. So looking at this, the jewel crew neck, uh, also clean as well. If you have not picked up a previous Supreme crew neck, definitely consider picking one of these up. I would um, think that they should be, I would think that this would be an item that you should be able to get uh, fairly easily manually as well. Just given the hype, I think the jacket is going to be going first, followed by the jerseys, and then maybe even the pants before, just seeing how the popularity of track pants are nowadays. And then, so the crew neck and the sweatshirt, I think you should have some luck going for manually. Now I'll quickly cover, you know, the rest of the drop list. It's not 100% complete, but I think we have, you know, the big hitters. It's possible that something gets taken off this list, so if you're watching it later, just keep that in mind. So the metal folding chair absolute must cop and again i'm on supremecommunity.com if you're wondering so shouts to them for keeping uh the site updated and clean uh the metal folding chair super awesome accessory i like all of the i'm still pissed i didn't cop the uh the director's chair that would have been really cool to direct my uh, supreme films you can catch your girl on one of them uh but the metal folding chair uh super clean uh <laughs> obviously you can flex in your school auditorium with one of these um <laughs> or you can show your girl how many Supreme folding chairs you can carry at one time when you're cleaning up afterwards. Uh, so, yeah, so it just has the uh, embossed design, or I guess that's that debossed if it's popping out. Uh, regardless, so the Supreme folding chair, I've done a couple chairs in the past. I have the lawn chair, the inflatable chair. I uh, did not cop the director's chair, obviously, but I believe this piece is about $120. Or 118 to be more refined. So uh, look for that. This is going to be clearly the most popular item for the drops for the first to sell out. So run your bots or uh, or or pray. In the S logo, usually the S logos aren't something that stands out to me, but in this particular case, the S logo is actually the S is actually made up of Supreme mini box logos. That was a detail I had overlooked on first glance. But that was pretty cool. I mean personally I don't like the way that the red is going to uh, clash with some of these colorways. I would really only consider getting the black or the gray. And the last thing in this green earth I need is another black or gray Supreme hoodie. So personally that's a pass from me. Resale well, like, I mean, you probably won't be making too much money on an S logo nowadays. It's They've been coming out for now for six years. So, um, But I do like this design, and if there was an S logo to get, I think this would be one of them. I think that's super dope. With the, there's, a, there's a little unique touch, but it adds, mm, adds so much uh, so much pizzazz. Uh, camp caps, and then you can see... So I guess this is the most liked piece. Maybe I'm a little off base on that prediction, but... Um, I think people will be going for uh, the jacket because the jacket is very clean. And I don't see the margins on the, on the crew neck being being that high, honestly. So, And then the receipts, rayon short sleeve. So, uh, you know, I am a connoisseur of polos in short sleeve button-ups. So this one is a little interesting. I think, I mean, I might go for the receipts. It's an interesting concept to just be covered in supreme receipts. Um... <laughs> So I might pick up the piece. It looks like it'll sit. So if it's still there after I go for the Nike drop in the folding chair, then I'll, I'll probably pick it up. Um, <laughs> so I had an, an all-over all design T-shirt, the street scene. Um, dope piece, but definitely not my style. But I can see certain people being able to definitely pull this off. And the sweater. Um, so... Uh, calling back to a retro design, um, meaning from a few years ago, the jacket with uh, the same pattern, the all-over pattern of this design. So, uh, super dope. I guess maybe, maybe a little. I mean, last time it was like, whoa, like a brand said that all over their shirt. It was like crazy big deal. Like, like wow. Um, but 
nowadays I think it's like a little overplayed, not by Supreme, but by other brands just sort of, you know, uh, taking the concept and just being like super edge core about it. So uh, you don't have that going for you. But the marble track jacket is getting a lot of hate, but I think this is a super sleeper piece. I mean, the black and the purple are like really nice, uh, in my opinion. I think these are a super standout piece that you might even be able to get under retail on stock X. I mean, yeah, I really like this piece. <laughs> I think it's uh definitely could be a sleeper on the season. I mean, I won't be copping it, but <laughs> but whatever. But if you're looking for something to grab this week and you you're not feeling it, I mean, I think you can go really nice personals to get super clean crew neck. You cannot go wrong there. Sweat shorts, you probably have cheaper options. I wouldn't really recommend it. I didn't mention the flask. I mean, it's a cool accessory, of course. But the marble track jacket's gonna add definitely add a little bit of spice to your uh, to your spice drawer. So yeah, lots of good solid pickups for basics this week. And then I also wanted to touch on the leak for the Supreme Nike Air Max Plus. Give us a little preview of the potential shoe that will be dropping. I believe there's also uh, two pairs of trainers that have been rumored to be coming out for quite some time. But this is the Supreme. I mean, we know these are coming out because they've been featured in Supreme photos, like their stock images. So we know those are definitely coming out. But uh, so I thought these were cool. And one little detail I wanted to note is that it does say Supreme running down the side. Um, <laughs> Supreme, like you can see, it does say like the little letters, like the waves are little letters. I do say Supreme, so it's not just a little wave graphic. And then also reminds me of like the pair that had the flames on the side of that pair. You know what I'm talking about. So um, keep these in mind that these are, will also be coming out. If you want to know that, I just want to point out the leak that you guys may or may not have already seen. But uh, so until the next drop, thank you guys for checking out the video. Give me some feedback down below, good or bad. I want to hear it all. And um, feel free to ask me any questions or just, you know, just drop a comment down below. Whatever you're feeling, and until the next drop, uh, best of luck on this drop. Hope everybody cops, and until then, toodles.